Hey up everyone, Rich here at Only Vans. Um, we've been inundated uh, recently, especially over the last sort of few few days, uh, with people asking um, why we decided to give up the house um, and completely change our lifestyle to come and live in our touring caravan uh, almost full time. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to take you through uh, why it is we decided to make those decisions. They might be relevant to you. Uh, they might even perhaps uh, influence you or affect you or think, you know what, well, actually, it makes sense. I can understand why they do it. Or you might think, mental madness. I can't understand why they're doing it. Uh, either way, um, let us know in the comments if you think it's a great idea. Let us know if you think it's a rubbish idea. Let us know. So one of the first things that we thought about when we made the decision was, you know, with everything that's going on at the moment, obviously today's Thursday, so yesterday was the spring budget from, from Big Rish. Um, and the cost of living, um, you know, if you think about how much petrol is, if you think about how much the utilities are, gas, electric, um, you know, my house in Stockport, which we've got for another six or seven weeks, it's a two up, two down terraced house, and it is, it's 150 odd quid for gas and electric alone. Uh, rents extortionate um, and with the cost of everything going up I thought well, there must be or there has to be uh, a better way um, of trying to do things and trying to find a better balance really in terms of how we can try and live but live more effectively. We, I found myself over the years, I'm 30 or 34 now um, and I've got a load of rubbish really. Uh, and just stuff that, I, you know, I've just accumulated over the years and I've got cupboards full of stuff and the stuff now that I've perhaps not looked at since I moved in. Um, you know, and the, the more possessions that you have, the, the more stress that you have. So I'm going through, especially when we move out, I'm going to go through, a, a, you know, a, a thing where if I've not used it, if I've not, if I've not got it with me, by the time I give my house up in May, bear in mind we've been staying in the caravan since the middle of January. If I haven't got it with me, whatever's in that house come the middle of May, We'll just be getting skipped, we'll be like, seeing a bit, we'll be getting rid of it. Um, you know, a prime example is I, I, I've got t shirts in my wardrobe, you know, that I've still got tags on. So, you know, I've got probably 15, 20 t shirts, of which I probably wear seven t shirts 95% of the time. So, why do I keep the other 13 t shirts? It just doesn't make any sense. It just takes up unnecessary space. And the whole, whole part of this, and part of this is just getting rid of stuff that I don't need, decluttering, downsizing, cutting back, and just having the things really that you need to be able to have a, a, a decent a decent life. And not, you know, I, I, like I said, as you can see outside the windows here and stuff like that, I, I, I don't, I, I want to be able to have a retirement type life now, really, where whilst I'm still in a position to enjoy it, I don't, you know, retirement age at 67, you know, in another 33 years, retirement age is probably going to be 80th if there's retirement age at all. And I don't really want to spend my whole life working myself to the absolute bone uh, and working myself into a, a, an early grave and not being able to have that time to enjoy me retirement type stuff and just completely re-evaluate me work-life balance because I, I, I've been night chronic for, for overworking myself like I, I wouldn't think anything about working 14 hours a day for five days a week and being that tired come the weekend that I'd sleep most of Saturday it's just wrong it's dead dead wrong I'm getting greys in my hair I'm getting grey in my beard now like a like an old Labrador I, I just I, I don't I don't want to do it I want to turn my adult life upside down have me retirement years and fun years now for however long I can get away with and then if I have to work until I'm 70, anything else over that is a bonus. But I want to have, I want, I want to completely redo my work-life balance and certainly have more stuff on life rather than, than, than work. You know, we've, I've had stressful jobs, you know, from when I was 18, I've worked in sales or call centers where there's constant targets, constant stress, and it's, you know, and you know, back to the cost of living thing, if your outgoings are high, you need to have a job that is stressful, that is probably sales or target driven because you need to earn a certain amount of money to live. But if you can cut back and bring your outgoings right down, then you don't need to have, I don't need to have a job where I'm taking phone calls from clients at quarter past nine at night or taking calls from them at seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, because I just don't, need, just don't need to do it because I don't need to have a job that pays that certain amount. Uh, and I want to escape the rat race 
um, you know, as part of that retirement stuff and, and all that. I, I want to be able to say in 10 years time or, in 20, or when my when day comes that, you know what, I did, I, I, had, I had an amazing life, you know, and I want to perhaps do something that is a bit un unconventional and that's why I want to almost, if I, if I could get away with it, I would, I'd retire now if I could. Um, but I want to get as close to that as I possibly can and, you know, perhaps get something, I don't know, I talk about campsite wardening all the time, so I'd love to do that, work from March to October, November time in this country, swan off abroad for four months because you save all your money in the year and then go abroad for four months a year and, and do that. You know, I'd love to be able to, to do that. But one of the joys of living in the caravan and living on a campsite almost full time is that you're in the countryside it's peaceful it's quiet you know we get woken up by the birds every morning you can hear birds ch chipping away and and all that sort of stuff and it's a dog kennel that i don't know where it is but you know sometimes in the morning we get woken up uh no, it's not by that dog but um by by dogs and it's better than getting woken up by the sound of the m60 or the sound of the bin man or or whatever you know i i just want to I've always been a country lad. I've always enjoyed being in the countryside and I've always enjoyed camping uh, and, and that side of things. So for me, and being given the opportunity and the ability to do this is is brilliant. Um, and I just hope it goes as well or as successfully as, you know, as I'm, I'm planning on doing. So we're obviously sort of two and a half months, two and a half months in now um, and it's going better than what I thought. So it's just long may that continue. Um, any questions or whatever you want to know how we're doing it um please 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 get in the comments um apart from that like subscribe hit the notification bell um honestly I i'm hoping it goes really well and i'm glad you're going to be with me uh, on that journey thanks everyone goodbye she's just gone to clean the toilet <laughs> should be fuming